All right. Here we go. We start off with a one nothing lead in the sixth fitting of game number two. Trey Turner at first, and Mookie Betts at the plate. Jose Barrios on the mound for us.
fly ball. He well struck right field. When you're running, makes the cap. Is it in on the warning track? And up to the plate is Will Smith. Ground ball up the middle. And two away to start the seventh. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him. Another ground ball. Great execution. And the first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Line drive. That's a hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Turner, the runner at first with two gone. Stays alive. Back to first. Yeah, fair ball down the first base side. Bellinger on his way in the second. He's got a double. He's definitely late on that pitch, but he didn't get beat. Got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot down the first base line. For the now a pretty good get back coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Taylor in the box now. Take strike one. Next offering is down low. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. Not one hit to right. Fernandez makes the catch. And that'll do it. Dodgers straight in front. And they're down to nothing. Back here at the ballpark. And now the DH, Alejandro Kirk. Will it hit? Now moving in here for a pinch hitter. Down the pitch here. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. And a pitch. That one fouled off. A one down. That one hooked foul. And a no. swing and a miss. And now one away. No, that pitch wasn't even close to being a strike. And that just goes to show you how defensive hitters can become when they're up against an 0-2 count. He's hoping for mistakes somewhere near the zone that you can get the bat to, but right there, he was clearly anxious. He was swinging when the ball left the hand. Slap foul. The pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. Taylor whips it to first. Two up, two down. Now it's Jansen to hit. He swings and fouls one off. Here comes the pitch. Foul off left side. The pitch. The foul ball, he stays alive. And the pitch. Stays alive. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. And the pitch. Ground ball, left side. Tosses the first. 
that ends the inning. In order, go the Blue Jays. They're up to nothing. Give me Garcia. On the All right, pitch. Garcia into the game here for the Blue Jays. We go to the eighth. Edwin Rios here. Garcia taking over for Jose Barrios. He threw seven shutout innings in this game. Swing and a miss. That is 0 and 2. Next offering is foul back. Swing and a miss. And he got him. And there's one away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. At that time, a little anxious. Turner stands in the two away as he takes a ball. Next offer misses. Two and oh. Righty delivers. Popped up. Two down. Chisholm pulls it down. And there's two away. Two out, space is empty. And now it's Mookie Betts. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. At the belt, the finals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The fastball at the bottom of the zone can be very effective. Just got to keep it on the corner. Whoa. And that one almost got him. Looking very subtle on the mound here in the eighth. No more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Third out. That ends the three. And now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the first game. Rusty Gratterall in the game now. It's his job to keep this team in the game. Bottom of the eighth. Here's George Springer to start it off. A wide kick to pitch. And. and oh, high throw, but gets Springer anyway. One down. Out in the eighth. Hold the shit up to the dish. And first offering is fouled off. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Oh. Down a little two as he swings through it. Not sure what's going on right there. No chance. He'll probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. Hit hard on the ground to short. Fires over to first. And Bichette is retired. Now back. First baseman. One This to third. And a half base hit for Guerrero. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit any part in the infield. Okay, I have to answer the phone there. Tasker Hernandez for the fourth time tonight. And he swings and misses at the initial yeah. offer. Right handed reliever. Ripped on a line. That's going to be caught. We go to the ninth inning. And. 
under center. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. And in comes Romano. Romano Facing the three, four, and five hitters to the Dodgers. Next pitch downstairs. And that is ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Right there is his going through. High fly ball out to center field. Guriel. One down. This one. And takes the ground. And there's one down. Here comes Max Muncy. First off, Green. This is the one. Romano. A very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare. Muncy the left two way. Three wins every pitch. And for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. After now, will be Will Smith. That's offering is down low. That's ball one. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, you pretty much forget about it. Just one out of way, try to close it out. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and a one. Swing and miss. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. And Romano closes it out. And we're up two nothing in the World Series. So the Toronto Blue Jays have taken charge of this World Series. They're up 2-0, heading into game three. And maybe a change of venue will shake things up a little bit. But yeah, almost identical like stat lines for both starting pitchers. The only difference though is that Bre well, said still a lot of Urias gave up two runs, excuse me, while Brio gave up no runs. Get back into this. They need to bounce back next time out. All right, well, let's see what happens in in game three of this World Series in the next episode of the March to October. Mm -hmm.